ちは平松理恵ですいかがお過ごしでしょうか Hi, this is Rie Hiramatsu, an English Japanese conference interpreter and a foreign accent reduction consultant living in England. And you're listening to Smart Not Pure English. Podcast を聞きのあなた、ご聴取いただきありがとうございます。前回の前半に引き続き、今回は後半をお送りします。Okay, so how about the next word? Next word is spelt D-E-R-B-Y. That's the name of a place or region, like Derbyshire. But it is spelt with E R, but it is pronounced with R as in A R. Derby. It's not Derby, but you inclined to say Derby, wouldn't, wouldn't you? Because that's how it's spelt. So it's Dar, like Derby. Exactly. Exactly.、Oh, yeah. That's strange, isn't it? In American English, I am not sure I don't really pronounce this word particularly, so I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But judging from the phonetic symbols there, der- derby, pro,、yeah. that's, that's、yes. uh, IPA right there. So, oh wow, sounds really different. So it's not er, it's ah.、Uh. Exactly. And then how, why not spell it with a then? That's what I thought. <laughs> At、Come、the beginning. <laughs> exactly. I thought it was really confusing. <laughs> okay,、yeah. so the next one looks really interesting in British English. It has F in it. How strange. It? Yes. It's lieutenant. Left, lieutenant. Exactly.、Like、two separate words. Left, tenant.、Mm-hmm. Exactly. And the right tenant and left tenant, yes. <laughs> 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 wow. So,、um, yeah, in、um, American English, it's a lieutenant. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So different. And the next word, library. I'm not really good at pronouncing that word, but how, how do you pronounce it? Now, I used to pronounce it library, but now I pronounce it as library, trying to sound more British for the consistency, I think. Library. But,、uh, Yes, as if they skip the second syllable,、yes. as if there is no R or A there. Yeah, right,、sorry. right. So in America,、uh, the, in American English too, I hear two versions often. And so one is library, library. Yeah. And the other one is library, like library. So the phonetic symbol right there is library. So. That's the Mendoxai version. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Mendoxai, I like that. <laughs> that's true. And then, <laughs> and then I, I, I think that's how it's spelled as well. And then I tend to say it that way. But、uh, when I listen to British people, they often say library or library. Like your first version in American English, it's closer to that. And younger generation, I hear them as it's spelt library, but just a little bit more of a、um, schwa rather than rary. It's rary, I think. Wow, interesting. So it's library, the way that you say it now. Library. It's faster, yes. I think altogether, it's kind of faster.、Mm-hmm. Li- library. Library, yes,、mm. I think.、Mm-hmm. Wow, so next word, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> This one, like signatory. And I was watching my, my very best, my very favorite、uh, TV show. Well, it's finished a couple of years ago, but、uh, The Big Bang Theory. I love The Big Bang Theory. And、um, Sheldon, the main character. One of the main characters、um, talk, often talks about the、uh, roommate agreement. <laughs> and he mentioned Leonard as a signatory. And then I just picked it up like it, British people wouldn't say signatory, it, it would be signatory. Signatory is sign, signatory? Yes, yes, perfect. Signatory? It's like a, almost like a tree. Exactly. Right? Tree, almost like a tree. And not、exactly. Signature.、Yeah. Signature. As if there is no O between T and R. Oh. 
Wow. So the next one, I am guessing it's going to be the same, like at the end, like tree and tori. Uh, la, la, that's right. You're right. Okay, so yes. how, how do you pronounce it? I had to correct this. I was saying it in American way, believing that it was the British way. So I used to pronounce this word as a laboratory, but it was supposed to be laboratory. Wow, the stress is the stress syllable is different. It, it moves. Exactly. Oh, oh, that's right. Um, I I lived in Vancouver, Canada for two mm-hmm. years, and uh-huh. what I noticed is that people said um, garage, garage, garage. Yes. Oh, you say ga- garage. Oh, garage. Okay, so in American English, it's garage. So the stress mm-hmm. syllable changes, right? Switches. Oh, that's really mm-hmm. interesting. And when, uh, I li- mm-hmm. and when I lived in, uh, sorry to interrupt, when I lived in Northern Ireland, people there pronounced that word garage, 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 I think. Wow, so interesting. And the first uh, vowel is pretty different to lab. Mm-hmm. As, um, whereas British English, it's l- lab, la, laboratory, labor, labor, laboratory. Exactly. Laboratory. Oh wow! And in American English, I don't pronounce the whole thing, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Just looking at the phonetic symbols, I would say laboratory. Hori, I think. But Beautiful. <laughs> thank you. But in a conversation, I just say lab. Of course. Mm. I'd like to say lab as well, like refrigerator, fridge. <laughs> lab. Ah, so it's like short. <laughs> so I, I so. already hear people say laboratory, but I always hear the word lab. Lab, mm-hmm. uh, lab, mm-hmm. lab partner. Like in the chemistry class, we always had like a lab partner. So we just say lab. So the word lab. So it's so hard to say the formal. The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you, but you said it so beautifully. I'm amazed. Oh, wow. Thank you. Wow. It is so different. I shouldn't be amazed because it's your profession, but you know, because you told me that you had never, almost never uh, experienced or practiced to sound British. So I'm taken aback. Yeah. Wow. Great. So thank you very much for the lesson. My and pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. So, okay. So the next question is, uh-huh. do you have any suggestion for Japanese speakers who want to improve their British English pronunciation specifically? Right. See, for the people who live in Japan and um, having difficulty accessing British English contents, I suppose. Of course, well, I have to start with the BBC Learning English, that uh, there are like six minute English is six minutes, so it's quite short and sweet. And then it is a whole conversational it's really helpful but my favorite actually is the english we speak it's even shorter it's only for well normally two minutes and it picks up some british colloquial phrases or expressions and you can use and it the context is given there so it's enough so you can be confident in using it in certain situations and that so i think that's very really good and then in terms of listening and uh, familiarizing yourself uh, with the sound and the topic like british local topics i would say the uh, bbc radio 4 um, particularly, I like this program called Women, uh, Women's Hour, not Women, Women's Hour. It's a very popular program that has been broadcast since 1946. There are so many inspiring episodes and uh, Music 6 is also good, I think. Um, I didn't know about this channel, uh, the other, uh, but um, I had this privilege to work for them and uh, it's 
basically all about music, but in between songs, um, they they are like quite fast, but fast paced, but very British um, introduction and a conversational, um, you know, moments there. So I would really recommend anyone, you know, to be immersed themselves. Uh, immersed in British uh, language. Wow, thank you very much. I had to move the angle. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, I just wondered, but <laughs> is everything all right? <laughs> yes, yes, it's just, you know, like just moving for my family member <laughs> so that they don't get in the camera. I understand. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So thank you very much for sharing your tip. And no problem. Yeah. So if the audience wants to learn from you, uh, you you're offering the British English uh, pronunciation lessons. How and where can they find you? Find me. Right. Great question. Thank you. Um, they can come and join me on my Facebook group. Uh, it is focusing on pronunciation and by singing English songs, and it is uh, totally free of charge. So if they want to test the water, whether the accent reduction is for them. And uh, formal, should I say, formal programs would be that um, you, they can find me on podcast, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and also websites. I've got two websites. One is for my interpreting voiceover uh, services and the other uh, for my pronunciation school. So with the interpreting and uh, voiceover services, that's www.rie.london. That's rear.london. And for the pronunciation one, replace www w with school. So it's the uh, school.rea.london. There's no like World Wide Web. Instead, that's school. So then they can find me. So now I am in the middle of the um, intensive pronunciation course with a group of students, but uh, private lessons are available as well. What's simple and best is to opt in at the website so they will be notified with the seminars or uh, live events as well as um, courses when they well commence. Wow, thank you very much. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put the links uh, to, to website links in my um, description box so people can check it out. So please check out Lee San's uh, pronunciation course and I hope that like more people learn the British English <laughs> because some some people contact me and like I, I only teach American English right uh -huh. they say oh I'm looking for a British English pronunciation coach who is Japanese and I'm like oh not so many people I know so you know British English really definitely getting more popular but not many teachers i feel like oh so i, I see that, yeah so i hope that definitely i'm gonna good. refer them to you yeah yes great yes. yeah okay so yes and thank you very much for your time today i really enjoyed the conversation so thank you so do i pleasure was mine thank you very much aiko san thank and thank you very much for the audience for listening to me to us and i hope you enjoyed it right thank you all right bye thank you Thank you so much for listening. 最後までお聞きいただきありがとうございました。私が主催している発音改善スクール、Smart Up Your English のセミナーやワークショップといったイベントやコース開催のお知らせはメールマガジンで行っています。イギリス英語表現、発音のポイントについてもメルマガでお届けしますので、ご興味のあられる方はぜひメルマガにご登録ください。番組概要欄にリンクがあります。そちらをクリックしてメルマガに登録してください。そして、リスナーリスナーさんからのご相談、ご質問を募集しています。コメント欄から、または番組概要欄にツイッターのリンクがありますので、アットツイートにてご質問、ご相談をお寄せください。
お待ちしています。Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.